Hi, I'm Helen Smart and I'm on the board of directors of the Mainline Theatre, producer of the St. Ambroise Montreal Fringe Festival. I'm here to talk to you about the Tip the Fringe program. As you know, the St. Ambroise Montreal Fringe Festival is Montreal's original multidisciplinary art party. We're a festival run for artists, by artists, and we provide an important platform where every year hundreds of artists get to share their vision with a paying audience. But don't just take my word for it. Here's what the artists have to say. Why is the fringe important to artists? I think mostly because of the structure that allows artists so much freedom to try new things, to be brave. Fringe gave me the confidence uh, to be able to create work that I wouldn't normally have been able to create. It gave me the freedom, uh, the space to do that, um, provided an audience base that has followed me for the last 12 years. But it's such a great place to try something out, uh, to be able to do it as part of a community and as, um, something that already has a built-in audience. People love to go to the Fringe. You have such a generous audience because people want to be there. People get excited about the Fringe. But you really do find a home in the Fringe. Our festival abides by the following mandate. For one, it's a, it's a lottery. There's no curation of the festival. We literally pick names out of a hat. Then we have no censorship. So that means you can pretty much do whatever you want in the eyes of the law. 100% of the money goes back to the artists, which is awesome. I think it's are affordable. Affordable. Uh, our wonderful patrons. So in order to help us continue to fulfill this mandate, we've developed the Tip the Fringe program over the past couple of years, which encourages spectators to make a small donation to the festival when they stop by our headquarters to pick up their tickets, when they go see a show at one of our amazing venues, when they come by the beer tent to see one of our fantastic free outdoor performances, or come by the 13th hour for a late night drink. These small donations and spare change might not seem like a big deal to you, but they mean a world of difference to our festival and will allow us to keep costs low for artists and audiences alike and keep us all fringing for years to come. One of the things that I think is so great about the Fringe is the way it's artist driven. The shows are created out of a passion. They're not created because they're going to make a fortune, but they're created because the artists involved have a passion to tell a story or to explore something theatrically. Yeah, and to keep all of that, we need to keep to tip the Fringe alive. To make sure the artists get a good and fun festival where everything is affordable for them to come to our city and make wonderful, amazing shows. And it's not just the artists who benefit when we keep the costs of participating low, spectators benefit as well. It makes the whole thing accessible. It means that people are far more willing to take risks. I think. Yeah, because everything's, if everything's 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, you're, you're really going to think, well, where are you going to spend your money on? Are you really going to stick your neck out on some things have on or a poetry show, or some, some strange story that some, sounds unlike anything you've ever heard before? So whether it's just your spare change, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, or even twenty dollars, next time you see that tip the fringe box, don't be shy. Tip the fringe. Yeah, we want to keep bringing you this amazing festival to Montreal and across Canada. So if you can tip the fringe, that would be totally awesome.